morning, everyone. Welcome to Elite Weather. My name is Mr. G, your meteorologist today. Thank you for joining me on this YouTube channel today. And remember, if you enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and help a brother out as I'm helping you guys out with these weather forecasts. And we're taking a look at the beautiful city of Boston. That is our city of the day. Boston, Massachusetts. Ah, uh, the live feed just went out. But anyway, okay. So anyway, there's a big, beautiful city of Boston. It's about 57 degrees out there in Beantown right now on this beautiful day. It actually is that sunny, even though our feed just terminated for some reason. It keeps going in and out, stupid cameras. But anyway, uh, again, have a great day if you're in the city of Boston today. It's going to be a beautiful day across the eastern half of the United States. Let's take a look at the radar so we can look at some of the trouble spots and then we're going to talk about uh the potential for some stormy weather through some parts of the midwest later this week and that potential for tropical development down over the gulf coast and our wet weather in the pacific northwest hello everyone here we are so taking a look at our really crazy looking radar here and we're talking about our thunderstorms right along the gulf coast that's where we have some action right now just offshore and maybe the immediate gulf coast new orleans maybe houston might see a thunderstorm and biloxi mississippi gulfport and the florida panhandle could see the potential for an afternoon shower and thunderstorms these are tropical downpours as we have a developing area of low pressure down off the Gulf Coast, and that could become our first tropical system of the year, even though it's not officially hurricane season yet. So uh, some uh, uh, off-season tropical development might be possible later this week down here off the Gulf Coast. And in the Pacific Northwest, we have some uh, wintry weather taking place where we're seeing some rain and some snow into the Cascade Mountain Range this afternoon. The atmospheric river is still kind of in charge of the Pacific Northwest. We have a trough in the jet stream and an area of low pressure heading into southern British Columbia. And this associated cold front is going to be uh, moving across the western United States, the northwestern states with those showers and snow showers in the mountains. And we might be seeing some cloud cover over here across the Great Lakes and into southern Canada near Quebec and also Montreal and Toronto. We could be seeing some rain showers this afternoon as well. So let's move on with our forecast so we can talk about what's going on in your neck of the woods. Okay, as we're continuing with our weather forecast, let's take a look at the current temperatures across the country right now. And we're looking at things that's still pretty early in the morning. It's about nine o'clock here in the Twin Cities in the central time zone. And we are looking at those temperatures in the 50s and the upper 40s across the eastern United States. We're looking at a little bit of a pool of cooler air across the southeast as we have some cloud cover. So we saw temperatures in the 30s right now. And we're also seeing it warm up across the southwest where we're seeing some temperatures in the 50s down across southern california and in arizona we're looking for temperatures to start hitting those 90s those mid to upper 90s right now as we move through the midway point of the month of april again we have our cool and cloudy conditions in the pacific northwest where we're seeing those rain showers and snow showers up in the elevate higher elevations of the cascade mountain range and let's take a look at our satellite and we can see some clouds over the uh, upper northern Great Lakes there. And this is southern Canada. And we're seeing our showers and storms down here along the Gulf Coast. And we have our pretty powerful storm here over the Pacific Northwest. Where you see that area of low pressure off the coast there of Washington and British Columbia. There's our frontal boundary right in here. So we're seeing those rain showers and snow showers over the Pacific Northwest. Let's take a look at our dew points. We're going to start to see dew points rise through the nation's midsection right through the Midwest here through the plains because we do have that potential to see thunderstorms later this week. Some severe weather could be possible as we move on through the midweek point and later in the week. So we're seeing dew points rise over the nation's midsection and down across the southeast. Let's take a look at what we're going to be seeing as far as coastal flooding in Florida. We have an area of high pressure to the north and our developing low pressure over the Gulf of Mexico. And that is going to be making a strong sea breeze 
off of the Atlantic so we can see the potential for uh, some rip tides and a rip currents and um, some flooding as well as we're going to be seeing um, some coastal beach or some beach erosion as well as we have a um, higher surf going on with that, that activity out over the ocean. So we're going to be dealing with a flood, coastal flood warning over North Florida near Jacksonville and South Carolina, just south of Myrtle Beach. So please be careful in those areas as we can see flooding because of an increased surf and water activity. And here we are as we're going to be looking at our tropical downpours we're expecting to develop across the southern United States and the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to be seeing an area of low pressure just off the coast of New Orleans and it's going to be providing some heavy downpours. So we're going to be seeing some thunderstorms from Houston all the way over to Jacksonville, Florida and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That includes the Florida Panhandle, all of the, the Florida Peninsula, all the way down to the Florida Keys. We're going to be looking at that tropical conditions as well. Could be a little bit windy if this takes on that tropical component and we see our first tropical storm we can see uh, winds up about 50 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour if we see that tropical development so we are keeping an eye on the Gulf of Mexico and the southeastern United States here we are as we take a look at that potential for uh, heavy rain and those thunderstorms. We're going to be seeing it as our our storm system moves on to uh, the Louisiana coast. It makes landfall potentially as our first tropical system. It could be a tropical depression maybe. I think maybe we could achieve that status. It's going to make landfall when we hit Thursday. So we're really going to be seeing those winds and those thunderstorms right along the Gulf Coast there in the southeastern United States. So some very heavy rain is possible. We could see five to six inches of rain potentially. So a lot of rainfall is going to be possible. And thinking of rainfall and, 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 and moisture, uh, we're dealing with the snow melting across the northern plains and into southern Canada. And with that, we have the Red River, the Mississippi River, the Missouri River. So we have a lot of very large rivers that come down from the northern states there. And we're going to be seeing uh, our snow melt. So that snow is going to run off into those rivers. We have the streams in the area and we're going to be seeing those contributories. Uh, fill in the large river. So we're going to be seeing the potential there for flooding across the upper Midwest and the northern plains as those water, that melting snow uh, fills those uh, flood plains across the, the northern part of the country. And here we are with our potential for some severe weather on Thursday or at least some thunderstorms. I wouldn't, shouldn't say, I wouldn't say severe weather just yet. But some severe thunderstorms could be possible, but we will see an area of uh, low pressure, a double barrel low pressure set up over the central and northern plains. So Minnesota, things will continue to stay warm enough for rainfall. So we will see some rain and some scattered thunderstorms as well. And some snow will take place over the eastern Rockies of Colorado and parts of Wyoming. But across the plains in the Midwest, we're going to just see rainfall from this activity as those temperatures will be in the 70s across the Midwest and 80s down across the South. So we will be seeing some potentially wet weather. But when that front passes and we get into Saturday, those temperatures will drop dramatically across the upper Midwest. So the Great Lakes, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, um, North and South Dakota, we're going to see cold air sweep in on the backside of this area of low pressure, but it's going to still stay warm enough that we won't see any snow. But when that cold air sweeps through, we're going to see those temperatures that we're going to see in the 80s tomorrow and Thursday drop down into the 40s on Saturday and Sunday. So a cold weekend could be in store, at least from what we're getting used to here with this warmth. So again, you know, all good things come to an end, but we are seeing that unseasonably warm weather across the eastern United States. So the Northeast, the Great Lakes, and the Plains in the upper Midwest are seeing some unseasonable warmth where as much as 20 to 30 degrees above average right now, and that will continue through at least as we head into the weekend. 
In the Pacific Northwest, we have our atmospheric river with another storm system near southwestern Canada and northwestern you know, Washington, and we will see another frontal boundary pass through there, and that is going to bring some snow across the Pacific Northwest into the Cascade Mountain Range and into the British Rocky, the Canadian Rocky. So we could be seeing some snow, and we're going to be seeing that area of low pressure lifting north into parts of Alberta, Canada, and Manitoba. So we're going to be seeing um that wet weather stay mostly confined to the northern half of the country especially as that system progressive progresses eastward but we will see an area of low pressure develop over the great plains of the of the of uh, Kansas Nebraska Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa. So we're going to be seeing low pressure develop over that area. So we'll see some rainfall get put moisture get pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico and tap into that system. So we're going to be seeing uh, some pretty substantial rainfall develop across the Midwest as we get to the second and latter half of the week. That is your weather forecast. So the warm weather will continue for a few more days here as we approach the weekend. My name is Mr. G. Thanks for watching. Leave your likes, comments, and subscribe.